Well, hello. Today's rigging is for the sunfish. We want to set sail um, by ourselves. Um, so we're going to sail the sunfish today. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our bow is into the wind. Today our wind is kind of coming from the southeast, so we've got the uh, boat currently facing out into the lake, but we may have to adjust because it's also kind of turning into the east. The other thing we want to do is make sure that our plug at the stern is all the way in and tightened down. We don't want to add water into the hull of our boat. So once we've done those two things, now we're ready to double check to make sure we have all of our equipment. We need a sail and those are kept again um, at the beach um, with the uh, other sunfish. We also have the need to have our rudder and tiller attached. So we need that. We need to have our dagger board and we will need our flotation just in case. And we're going to make sure that we are currently on the beach um, with the um, sail and we've got to have our gas. We need our main sheet. So with all of our equipment accounted for, now we're ready to get started. The first thing that we're going to do on the sunfish is we are going to get our sail prepared to um, be raised. All right, so we're going to unstore the sail. Hopefully it's been taken care of. But we want to take our line that has stored our sail and keep, we use a half hitch by just going straight down on the sail to store it neatly. We want to fold all of our equipment in together and we start with the line going through our gooseneck. All right, so we've got our halyard released from our sail, which was used to store the sail. The next thing we want to do is we want to position our sail. We want to make sure that our gooseneck, this round brass piece, is going to be on the port side of our boat facing starboard, or this fair lead. And our mast, the bottom of our mast, is going to go through the gooseneck and then into the hole but we're gonna make sure that we've got our main halyard through the top of the mast, and we've gotta put our flotation device on the end of the sail. So we wanna make sure that this gooseneck is going to be in position. Again, it's gonna go from port side facing starboard. We wanna make sure, you can kinda of double check, things roll off your boat, that happens, that the sail's gonna go up. All right, so that's the top of our sail. So we get in position to put our flotation device, our jug, at the top of the sail that's going to be up by the mast, opposite of your boom or your spar. So you're just gonna clip it whichever way you can. You can put it on the line, you can put it on the grommet. You just want it at the top of the sail. Once we've done that, now we're again, we're going to get our halyard, make sure we don't have any kinks in our line. We want to come and get our, the top of our mast. In this case, my mask decided it wanted to go sailing without me, but we're going to put it through the halyard, through the top, and you want to pull enough of the line that you have something to hold on to. Otherwise, you'll sky your halyard. Now you're going to position your mast through your gooseneck. And we want to slide it back so it's going to go right down in the hole. Sometimes we have to give it a little help. Again, keep your sail away from going into the hole. That's protecting the sail. Next, you've got your halyard. Sometimes your mast may be turned and it looks like the halyard's on the wrong side. It's easy, just twist your mast back around so that your halyard is coming down on the starboard side of your boat. Then you're gonna be ready to give it a really good pull. Assess your wind before you raise your sail. Which way is that wind coming from? My wind has shifted, 
So I need to turn my boat more into the wind, otherwise I'm gonna have problems as soon as I raise it. So I'm turning it, turning it. Now I'm ready to give it a really good pull. Keep pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. Make sure that bow's into the wind. It'll make it a lot easier. Bow into the wind. Pull it tight to where it's all the way even with the mast. You, they'll be touching. The next thing you're going to do is take the end of your halyard and you're going to go through the fair lead on the starboard side of your boat. You go through the fair lead, take up all the slack, holding on to it with one hand. Get your slack secured and now you're going to do a cleat hitch. Right here at the top of your deck. Take the end of your halyard, you want to tidy it up, just do a couple of little loops and then just store it underneath itself. So your main sheet should be with the boat. If it's not, see the facility manager, they can provide you another one um, and you can get ready to get out on your sail. So you're going to attach the end to the loop or the bridle on your boat. And you're gonna take the end of the halyard, or the main sheet, the main sheet. You're gonna go through the pulley, through the line, your choke strap, through the pulley, taking up the slack, and then it's gonna go through the fair lead. You go through the fair lead, and once it's through, you're gonna make a stopper knot. We normally use a figure eight at the end of your line. 